welcome uh, Colin to the YouTube channel of uh, Retail Jeweler India and World and we are uh, privileged to have you with us. So we are here to discuss the exports business, the international business and the IIJS virtual you know, which is now uh, going to happen from October the 12th. So the first question for you is what is it that you feel you know, this entire IIJS virtual will mean for the entire world of gems and jewelry and the global um, retailers who are uh, looking forward to it? Thank you, Samit, for uh, having me on this uh, channel. The pandemic started, I guess it hit India in March and we are, uh, you know, at the end of September today. For the first three, four months, we had council and like, I guess everyone, you know, globally, we were in this hope that uh, there's going to be a vaccine and the lockdown will be over and we'll still be on for doing IIJS August. Finally, I think, uh, you know, maybe a couple of months back is when all of us realized that even if physical happens uh, there is no escaping the fact that covid is here to stay vaccine is long way off business needs to go back to normal and uh, we need a new virtual format luckily for us uh, under uh, shailesh and his whole team at the council uh, we be, we we were looking very aggressively for a solution i would say from april and we scouted uh, every IT company I think uh, there is in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Bombay, uh, Gurgaon, everywhere. And we even saw several solutions uh, globally. So having said that, finally we zeroed in on you know a solution which we think is the ideal one for uh, IIJS virtual. And uh, we really feel that between uh, you know the video camera facilities, the internet bandwidth which we have available in India, uh, the, the IT expertise of our manufacturers and retailers, that uh, we have a simple uh, solution which will help our manufacturers and buyers to connect after many many months uh, in a nice virtual way. And we've also tried our best to give them opportunity to transact business. Of course, we understand that uh, business won't be equal to what can be done physically. But at the same time, we really feel confident that at least at a 40-50% level, business should be transacted based on demand, obviously. And also given this entire pandemic and the entire business environment for the next uh, three years or so, what would be your uh, advice or recommendation to the government of India to increase uh, exports and also help in ease of doing business in the country? Uh, to be honest, the government really doesn't have the fiscal space to give benefits, I guess, to industry in terms of uh, reductions in uh, whether it's uh, duties, tariffs, taxes, you know, and whatever I guess uh, is happening will happen for all industries. Having said that, uh, believe it or not, our industry does have some typical challenges when it comes to uh, certain, uh, I would say, modes of doing business. So if you look at e-com policy, we really don't have an e-commerce policy. So we have an e-commerce policy broad level, but we don't have anything in place which specifically helps, aids, abets a manufacturer anywhere in India to sell on any platform globally. We are not able to collect payments on credit card. We are not able to ship within 24, 48 hours. We don't have the Indian post which is geared up for taking precious cargo. And uh, the entire transaction cost is quite high. So having said that, we are representing very, uh, and it's, uh, I would say the meetings are going well, wherein if we are able to bring down the transaction cost and the speed at which we are able to move goods from India, then we'll be able to participate in this uh, new economy, which is e-commerce. So it used to be 3-5% of the global gems and jewelry trade a uh, few years back. It's slowly crept up to, I would say, 10-15% in this last 12-18 uh, to 18 month period. And guesstimates are that it will become 20-25% of the business very soon. So it would be a pity if the Indian manufacturer is not able to take part in e-commerce. What would be finally your message to the trade, uh, call it on the upcoming uh, IIJS virtual, to Indian uh, retailers, you know, and Indian trade which have part going to participate in large numbers. You know, I think by uh, till yesterday it was like 5,000 uh, trade retail visitors. There's a lot of excitement among also the manufacturers uh, who are creating a lot of new collections. A lot of new players are participating for the first time. And they're also creating, and the existing guys are coming up with new collections in different product categories. And uh, retailers are also coming in with a lot of expectations. What will be your message to them, uh, keeping in mind what you just said, you know, that the next six months are going to be very important. 
so how should they go about stocking or what are the other advice you will want to give to the retailers i guess uh, what's happened in a few virtual formats uh, you know where uh, the council has done virtual buyer seller meets is that there are a few buyers who are uh, you know hesitant there are a few buyers who are uh, on the fence and there are a few buyers who always uh, take the plunge you know and are willing to buy and i would say that uh, at least to all our indian retailers and manufacturers we have done this virtual format now on diamonds and on plain gold and we've had buyers coming from china korea thailand vietnam and believe it or not uh, millions of dollars of business has been transacted where our manufacturer actually got uh, hard purchase orders and they've shipped goods and they've got their payments and uh, you know everyone's happy so i would really uh, you know the message would be that uh, retailers please come and place orders you know that's what the manufacturers need they they need the business they need to get their factories going uh, the workers have uh, suffered you know they're all uh, in their hometowns now they've started coming back so in the end the only solution is business so please i would only say that uh, let's go and you know take that risk and even though it's online and you can't touch and feel the product and it's not ihs as normal but here here are people who are committed to this industry in the long term they're not running away anywhere they're going to be in business you know even a few quarters down the line if you are not happy or for whatever reason i'm sure it will work out between the manufacturer and retailer but this is the time to maybe go out and uh, show some optimism and positivity so we are hoping that people come and uh, spend uh, a serious amount of budgets and uh, finally one uh, last thing you know which lot of retailers and manufacturers are uh, are trying to understand from uh, gjpc point of view is that you know this entire pandemic is not going to go away for the next 2 to 3 years so uh, there were a lot of plans to gjpc had you know you have been working on uh, uh, maybe a b2c festival you know with the government of india the made in india program so are, uh, how do you see this entire panning out for from a gjpc perspective and its activities for the next 2 to 3 years because this is Going to stay, you know. That's the feel now. You know that this pandemic. As not- a uh, summit, as a trade body, what we really intend on doing is uh, continue the good work that we've been doing over the last 50, more than 50 years. Because in the end, we represent the industry at large. Uh, there are huge hopes that uh, the council does much more on demand creation. So whether it's working closely with uh, the National Diamond Council on diamond promotion. whether it's working closely with uh, world gold council bgi whether it's forever mark you know any of uh, the bodies who are associated with our industry on what else we can do to excite the consumer then that's something which we will definitely do besides that you know uh, one of our uh, key goal areas this year is to do the shopping festival and the correct timing for the shopping festival was going to be before the physical iijs we'll definitely be doing it i guess in the next couple of quarters as soon as things start coming back to a little bit of normalcy you know the shopping festival should create a lot of excitement in the cities that we'll do it in it will be like the you know like the dubai shopping festival or the singapore shopping festival so i would say that let to, to split this into several parts right one is the virtual buyer seller meet will continue so we'll probably be doing more of those on the export and the domestic front uh, i guess the physical iijs will definitely come back next year in some avatar and a nicer avatar because uh, you know we don't want to unveil it right now but we are working very hard behind the scenes to make it bigger better nicer you know more and more uh, world class or better than anything out there uh, so that will continue we'll be adding the shopping festival also to our repertoire so you know that will happen so we'll have the shopping festival we'll have the virtual shows we'll have the buyer seller meets besides that uh, i don't know but I, i hope you recollect some of the you know the, the, the videos we did last year yeah 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 my creation mm-hmm. yeah so we'll be doing more of those you know so there'll be another uh, string of those coming for anteras and diwali so i think uh, you know we'll be doing i guess everything possible on promotion on all fronts and in this journey while we are you know creating demand on the ground we'll be making more effort into you know this whole journey of digitalization so that's happening for sure you know so whether it's this virtual format whether it's educating our members more on you know doing things online how to photograph a piece of jewelry better you know we're doing all these webinars with bloggers how do you do your social media better so there's uh, 
know i mean at least at a think tank over here we're trying to put together uh, everything possible which affects the life of our manufacturer retailer but on the digital side oh thank you very much uh, colin because those films you know i was just coming to that really helped the retail trade and consumer communication was uh, really bolstered and uh, really powered uh, last tanteras onwards and uh, retailers are looking forward to it in fact i got a lot of calls recently that before iijs virtual only you should start again you know as in uh, to uh, promote it among at least at the trade level so that they can also pick it up and it's great news that you are doing some new films you know for all the categories which uh, retailers can use for uh, diwali and tanteras onwards so that will be nice and uh, all the best uh, for iijs virtual we'll see you at the iijs virtual and uh, for all the programs you have planned especially the shopping festival and all the demand creations the entire trade and the retail community is with you on that